Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel. For the newcomers, my name is Zidi. I wish you all a happy new year, guys. Happy 2024. I wish you all the love. I wish you all the luck. I wish you all the health. I wish you all the happiness. I wish you a shitload of sex. I wish you a shitload of Bitcoins for 2024, of course. Thank you for following our channel the last whole 2023. We grew tremendously with uh, subscribers. We need to grow 2024 a little bit more, all the way up to 75K, maybe even 100K, guys. That's the goal for me. With YouTube this year, 100K followers, that I can receive this beautiful button and I can show it off to all my friends and family. Now, guys, today, again, amazing Bitcoin charts. Of course, an amazing day, Bitcoin 44K again. Again, <laughs> uh, talking about that, yes, I have some uh, Bitcoin trading tip. I have a travel tip. Of course, beautiful uh, live advice and always, as always, talking about the news, guys. Let's see what is happening in this beautiful industry of Bitcoin, blockchain and live, guys. But before I jump into the news, guys, how was your New Year's Eve? Did you celebrate it to the fullest? Uh, do you have any plans for 2024? Let me know down below and start by giving this video a thumbs up. Let's quickly jump into the charts now to show you what they have to say. Bam! The first chart for today and the first chart for 2024, of course, that beautiful four-hour chart, guys. Look how beautiful, amazing green candle that we can see over there, all the way up, touching there at almost 45K, guys. 45K. I think we wicked even, let's see, we wicked even to 45,500 US dollar. For all the people that are in the trade of the Bitcoin family, congratulations with a shitload of profit, guys. And yes, of course, look, the buy signal over there was there, candles closing above the yellow stepping line, all the other factors were also in line. We had the blue line there, beautifully above the white line. The green was starting beautifully. We even had for a small part that green line on top, but that quickly changed to the red line. But that's all good, guys. We had a triple, almost quadruple confirmation of a trade to take. And for the ones that took it, yes, a shitload of profit, almost 45K. But as you know, this channel is all about zooming out. So I'm gonna show you a couple of beautiful charts for 2024 to keep an eye on. The first one is this, guys. And this is a very simple table. It's just showing you that if 1% of the global assets will go into Bitcoin, the Bitcoin price corresponding to that would then be one around, around 415,000 US dollars. If 5% of all the global assets will go into Bitcoin, guys, we will see a Bitcoin price of $2 million, etc., etc., etc. Just to give you a little bit positive hope for 2024, because we are just on the brink of a shitload of liquidity coming into the market because of that spot EDF. If that would be 1% of the global assets, guys, beautiful price, 15x from here. 5%, 77x over here. Just calculate all the other stuff. And of course, that 100% is a little bit far-fetched, but just showing you by calculation um, how high Bitcoin can go. Now, then we have this chart, the Bitcoin price change per year. We can see that 2023 was above average. We can see the bottom part of the lines were all underperforming 2023. 23 is that dark orange line, guys. It was a very nice year, only 2017. And 2020 have been outperforming Bitcoin um, in this last decade, guys. Nah, and even 2019 was a little bit outperforming Bitcoin as well, but that's because of that it ran from 3 to 14K and back to 6K. But on average, look how beautiful that orange line has been climbing up. Now, 2024 and 2025, in my honest opinion, are gonna break these lines of 2020 and 2017. I think we're gonna see a way more bullish line in 2024 than we can see now here on these charts as well. Like, like look at the 2017 line. I believe we're gonna make a copy of that line. Slowly start into this very beautiful bullish year and then go up higher, higher, higher towards the end of the year and then 2025 explode again to the new all-time highs. And that's also what we always see back on this chart, guys. We have three green candles, three bullish years. Then we have a bearish year, a red candle. The first one was in 2014. The second red candle was in 2018. The third red candle was in 2022. Every time in between these red candles, you see three, three green candles. And now again, that first green candle, 2023, has closed. That was a beautiful close, a bullish close of the 2023 year. 
we started at 16k and we ended all the way at 42 43 k guys so that's a green candle now 2024 is expected to be a massive green candle again and then 2025 even as well a green candle so we have two more bullish years ahead guys that's going to lead to new all-time high prices for bitcoin guys amazing simple chart uh, pause the video and analyze all the numbers in the table below the chart so you can see exactly how bitcoin has been moving in every year guys now then we have this one stable coins we see the aggregated market cap changing every time again and again in the start of the bull market from red stablecoin supply net outflows so we have the red part on the bottom of the graph we go into that green part again and every time when we go into the green part that's the start of the bull market because a lot of stablecoin liquidity is coming into the market and gives people the possibility to buy bitcoins of course with so beautiful to see how these stablecoins started to increase in the end of 2023 let's see how this will continue in 2024 guys then we have the number of addresses, Bitcoin addresses, with a non-zero balance, which means active addresses that just surpassed 50 million. We have now 50 million Bitcoin addresses that are active and have a balance higher than zero. This is amazing. This is adoption. This is going to maybe go towards 100 million during this beautiful bull market. And soon, somewhere in the future, we will even reach 1 billion active addresses, guys. Because Bitcoin is going to be more adopted every time again and again and again. Adoption is being created in every segment of the world, guys. Normal people, poor people, rich people, investor people, bank people, all people worldwide are slowly starting to understand the power of Bitcoin, not only investment-wise, but also freedom-wise. And the more people start to understand that freedom message, the more adoption there will be, guys. And my honest opinion, in 2024, we should focus more on the children, because the children have the future, and that's why they need to start to adopt Bitcoin. So that's why I tweeted already a couple of weeks ago, nowadays, kids will open a Bitcoin wallet before they will open a bank account. The important part that we must not forget now is to fill those wallets with Bitcoins. We as parents have the responsibility to educate our children, to lead by example, and to fill their Bitcoin wallets when they open them with a little bit of Bitcoin. And from that moment, we need to make sure that they will also be able as kids to use those funds in those Bitcoin wallets to spend them at the stores or online where they need to spend it the kids have the future step one have them open a bitcoin wallet step two pay their allowance to those bitcoin wallets step three make sure that the stores where you live start to accept bitcoin so those kids can start to integrate the spending of bitcoin into their daily life that was the last chart for today. Let's jump into the next part. I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. Yes, for 2024, it is a bull market year. As you saw on that last beautiful chart, we had a bearish, beautiful year in 2022, guys. 23 was the first year of the bull, the first green candle. 2024 is going to be the second green candle and 2025 the third green candle, guys. Yes, I still believe we will see a bull market all time high in 2025 guys that doesn't mean that we can't break the previous ultimate high of around 70k in 2024 i expect this to happen towards the end of this year so 2024 is going to be a very bullish year but aside of the bullishness i'm also going to prepare you because it's also going to be a volatile year with a lot of ups and downs and you need to emotionally be prepared to handle these ups and downs so you should be just dollar cost averaging into bitcoin all the way up to that halving in April 2024, guys. From that moment on, it's gonna be a little bit more volatile and difficult to control your emotions because euphoria will start to slowly take over. The moment we cross by 50K, you will feel this euphoric feeling. Yes, 50K and then 60K and then you feel euphoria. And that is the moment you will be thinking, we will go to 300, 400, 500K. I will never sell my bag. And then probably on that day, guys, I will be right there to support you and tell you in a very realistic way, guys, Bitcoin can't only go up. There will be moments that we do retrace and there will be moments that there will be a bear market again. 
And my honest opinion, the bear market is going to be in 2026. So yes, we have a couple of more years of joyfulness, happiness, beautiful walks and talks, wherever I am on the beach, bull market vibes, so maybe, yeah, I will go to more beautiful places even now. Because yes, now I need to spend those bitcoins on all the beautiful things that I can see in this world, guys. Now, that was everything. Let's jump into the trading tip. And the sun slowly starts to come up, guys. The trading tip for today is a very simple one. We as the Bitcoin family, we have a signals group, the Bitcoin family signals group. And in the signal group, we only trade Bitcoin USDT. And we show you when we open a trade, which stop loss we use, uh, when we take profit, and when we adjust the stop loss, everything. Everything we do, we just put it in this group. You cannot chat in the group, you can only follow the signals. And we have another group where you can chat, of course. Now, this trading group, again, December, closed with 6.2% profit. So in total, the whole year of 2023, we closed 362% of profit. So by just following all those signals, and yes, some would be in loss, most of them, of course, in profit, because else we couldn't end up at 362% in profit, you would have reached an end result of 2023 of 362% in profit. That's a shitload of profit, if you're asking me, guys, for just following some signals in our signal group. And yes, it is a free group, so you can even get access for free if you go to the bitcoinfamily.com and you search uh, in the products menu and you will find access to the signals, guys. Yes, I'm saying free, but you need to do like five steps. You need to subscribe to the channel, subscribe to my Twitter, uh, maybe even subscribe to a newsletter. Uh, join us at uh, the Bybit family over there as well, of course, because you can still win an iPhone 15 till the 12th of January, guys. So till the 12th of January, if you sign up to Bybit, you can claim up all those bonuses all the way up to 30K, but also you can win an iPhone 15, you can get an airdrop of 20 US dollar, uh, a t-shirt, a few Bitcoin t-shirts, and of course, yes, also the VIP membership for free. So go down below, use that link, sign up, start to buy Bitcoin, and enjoy all those prizes that you can win, guys. And that is a trading tip for today, guys. I don't have any other trading tip uh, prepared. I just want to remind you that we had this beautiful signals group that we made 360% in a year. How beautiful is that for people that just don't have the time to trade? If you don't have the time to do TA, to follow the news, to do all that stuff, that is what we are doing in that signals group for you. And you can just follow the trades from your own account. You don't need to send us money, nothing. But if you are even too lazy to follow all the signals, we also have a trading bot. We use the trading bot of Trade with Sequence that is doing around 2 to 3% a month. So it's a little bit less profit, but it's also less risky because it's a bot trading with 1.2% leverage or something, or 1.5 leverage. So liquidations, almost not possible. Bitcoin needs to drop to like below 10K, which in my honest opinion won't happen. Uh, but that bot is also available in the same menu of products over there, guys. So yes, we have the Bitcoin Family Signals Group and we have a trading bot that completely automatically trades everything for you. Now let's quickly jump now into the next part of the video, guys. gonna turn around guys uh phew, the sun is becoming warm it's like really low tide at the moment normally it's a little bit more high tide it's really strange it's eight o'clock in the morning here now normally i wake up at seven i need to go earlier because the beach is getting too full guys too many people in the camera i don't know if they all want to be in the screen at least most of the booties want that's why they come to the beach yes 2024 again the bitcoin booty beach guys now um the, the next part that i want to talk about you is a travel tip guys a travel tip for today is a very cool one. You know those moments that you have a hotel booking and then you can't go and you want to cancel the booking? You know, the hotels have this policy that you can't cancel it because you're just like one day ahead or maybe even just 48 hours ahead. And then they're like, ah. the policy says that we can't cancel the booking, guys. A very good solution for this could be calling the hotel and telling them, hey, sorry, I can't arrive today, but I want to uh, place my booking one week down the line, guys. So I will be there in one week or two weeks. Or maybe even you say like one month, because mostly the policies of the hotels do allow to change the date. They don't allow to cancel, but they do allow to change the date. So then you change the date to say three weeks later, and then like three, four days later, you call and you say, hey, I want to cancel the booking. And then you're way more than 24 hours before your booking, and mostly then the hotels will allow you to cancel that booking, guys. So that's how simple you can solve the situation if you're too late to cancel a hotel booking. Just postpone to another date, 
and then of course a couple hours or maybe wait one day later you call and you say hey now i want to cancel that booking now that was the travel tip for today guys the news for today guys is about the miners because there is uh, an article on coin sharing with us how the miners now are pre-calculating everything that's going to happen um, towards the halving guys and towards the halving a lot of people now the, their brains are freezing like what does this mean the ed is always talking about the halving what does it exactly mean i'm going to try to explain it as clear and short as possible guys the halving is the moment that the revenue of the miners will be half from that moment on so that's how simple it is so let's say a miner is making like 100k every month in mining bitcoins that is because he has a certain amount of computers up and running miners that mine him a certain amount of bitcoins and the total of that amount times the bitcoin price is their revenue so that would be 100k for this example now what now happens during the halving of april 2024 is that the revenue that those miners are making is going to be divided by 50 percent because from that moment they only will be able to mine the health of the amount of bitcoins that they were mining before that's why it's called a halving at the moment each bitcoin block that's being mined contains around 6.25 btc and from april only 3.125 btc so they will be mining less bitcoins but they still have the same amount of cost for having their machines up and running electricity the beautiful building the employees all those fixed costs will continue to run and what happens then if you just mine 50 percent of what you normally mine then your revenue drops and your cost still the same so you're making losses and the miner can't have that so what mostly happens is that the bitcoin price doubles in price and when then the bitcoin doubles in price then the half the amount of bitcoin that they will be mining at that moment is still enough revenue to pay all those fixed costs and if that bitcoin price is not increasing or doubling that means that a lot of these small miners will stop to exist because they can't cope with that they need to make more revenue for them to be able to pay all those monthly costs so if the bitcoin price doesn't go up in price or they don't buy more equipment to mine more bitcoins then they will just go bankrupt and that means they will stop existing and that is why the bigger miners are always taking over and buying these new equipments and they then sell their secondhand equipment again to the smaller miners that's how this industry keeps up and running and how the blockchain stays beautiful safe because the miners maintain that blockchain guys and that is now what is happening towards the halving so the health of the revenue leads mostly to a pump of the bitcoin price and that's very important because those miners and that halving protocol that's built into bitcoin also make sure that bitcoin becomes scarcer and scarcer every time and again and again yes i know there's still 21 million bitcoins but there is less bitcoin being distributed to the market on a daily basis because new bitcoins are being mined and we're only mining 50 percent of new bitcoins now and then in four years time again 50 percent less and that's why it will take all the way till the year 2140 before the last bitcoin will be mined 2140 that's the last year a bitcoin will be mined but i don't think that we will still be living in 2140 but at least we will be there at the biggest part of that beautiful bitcoin history that's being built while we live it guys amazing bull run ahead and that's what we should be focusing on now now that was the news for today let's jump into the next part And the next part, guys, is the last part of the video, the inspirational part of the video. Uh, the thing that I want to talk about for 2024, I'm not going to take it too long. I'm still not completely recovered, guys. I'm at 95% now. My voice is still hmm, lagging. Now, the thing for 2024, guys, is I just want to advise you that you don't always need a plan. Sometimes it's just good and perfect to let go and to just breathe. A plan could be nice if you want to have a structured life, but sometimes not having a plan brings you way more adventure than having a plan guys and yes i know that mostly when you don't have a plan you get like in this rhythm of boredom and everything but not having a plan doesn't mean that you don't need to do every day some cool stuff you can just wake up 
go on your bike, have a bike here in Phuket, of course, and just drive and find some place to have a lunch and then just find beautiful places, discover those places, and while you discover those places, just beautifully experience new adventures, guys. That's how simple it is, guys. You don't always need the plan. In 2024, we can plan a shitload ahead, but we don't have any control on what is gonna happen in this world. So whatever you plan, guys, it doesn't mean that that will bring that thing that you expect when you started to plan that, guys. There's a lot of possibilities. There's always options of stuff going completely in the other direction uh, when you plan something. And that's why I always say flexibility is the new stability. So for 2024, I just wish that you all start to become a little bit more flexible. Whatever might happen, whatever news you might read, whatever goes wrong in your life, try to be flexible. And that is when you let go of the plans because flexibility will lead to this new stability in my honest opinion will give you the same stable feeling that you have now for having everything structured. Yes, that was a beautiful feeling for the 90s and the 80s, guys. But we are living in this complete new era, uh, 2024 already, guys, where we cannot be stuck to those built-in thoughts that we had since the 90s. Flexibility is the new stability, guys. Believe me, just try it for 2024. Try to be a little bit more flexible. Try not to plan everything ahead and just let it go and just start to breathe and just start to enjoy life to the fullest without planning too much. I think for 2024, a very important message. You can try to plan everything, but that's not what life is about. Life is about experiencing life the way it comes. It comes how it comes. And whatever happens, bad or good, guys, you should adapt to it and be flexible. And the moment you start to do that, that's also the moment you will start to experience this complete new, beautiful feeling of freedom. Because freedom is not only dependent on naturalistic stuff. And I know a lot of people don't agree with me and they say, you need to be a millionaire or a billionaire to feel freedom, guys. I don't agree with that. Even millionaires and billionaires don't feel optimal freedom anymore. Because yes, they always need to take care of their money, of their assets, of their houses, of all that stuff that they are buying again. So it's not as easy as, uh, as me, my, most people think, guys. So for me, freedom should be separated from all that nationalistic stuff. And that is the moment you will find um, that real freedom, guys. That while all these horses walking on this beach. Yes, beautiful beach, a booty beach, of course. One of the most beautiful booty beaches here in Phuket, guys. Uh, that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy today's video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment what you think about all these videos, the new style that I have been making in the last uh, three, four months. If you have any advice or tips, Didi, you should change this to your video, or you should do this to the video, because I'm always in doubt, like, hey, can I do something to improve my videos? Then let me know down below. I would love to hear your uh, opinion on this. If you have any other ideas or plans, let me know down below. Thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again, guys. Of course, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow again. Bye-bye. Bam. -bye.